Horse meat. Ma To Yen Ro Guai is an oolong from the Wuyi Mountains, specifically from Horsehead Cliff Ma To Yen. We get this tea from tea master Shu Zheng Cong. And this is a, a, a great tea because I, I ask Shu Zheng Cong periodically, you know, what do you have that's new? What do you have that's very, very nice, fancy, high-end teas? And he will switch it up occasionally doing different cultivars. And then this time he responded horse meat. And I was like, seriously? And then he explained the full name of this tea is Ma To Yen Rogue, Horse Head Cliff Rogue, which abbreviated becomes Ma Ro, which means horse meat. There you go. Oolongs have crazy names. I like to steep this tea using the Hui Wei Bei opening technique because it is such a fragrant tea. It's a shame to waste that first steeping. So I will use that Hui Wei Bei returning flavor cup technique whereby I make the first steeping, I pour it in its own Gong Dao Bei, and I set it aside and drink it at the end cool because it has so much complexity on that first steeping. On the first actual steeping that we're going to drink right away. I tend to use hot water on this. Uh, like with many yen chas, I use, I would say about 195 to 205 if I really want to bring out the complexity and fragrance of this tea. It doesn't get bitter, so you can use a full boil, but I find that a little bit lower temperature brings out some more of the nuance of this tea. Second steeping, I might turn up the temperature close to boiling, maybe getting in the 208 to 210 range. And I like to pour very gently in a circle around this tea. And then I like to finish spiraling in to get the center of that leaf mass. This is not a bitter tea. We do not need to avoid the cha dan like we would with a Phoenix Oolong or a Sheng Puar, for example. It's actually very forgiving tea and it can be made in a lot of different ways. But this is the technique that I find to be the most effective. As we go through the different steepings, I will crank up that temperature. By the fourth or fifth steeping, I am using full boiling water. And by the sixth, seventh steeping, I'm gonna raise the stream and hit the leave mass directly in the center to squeeze out some more of that flavor. This is one of my favorite Wu Yi Oolongs to drink in a general sense. It has that Yen Yuan, that rock taste, and it has a lot of more complex notes than you get from a lot of the Wu Yi Oolongs because it's so immaculately roasted that really uh, brings out a lot of the very unique characteristics of this cultivar.